I was laying in bed next to my girlfriend. We were face to face. I was looking at her eyes and I was so happy. I was thinking right now I can see the real her. And then I had that cliche thought, the eyes are the windows to the soul. But then I redeemed myself because I thought, well, technically, no, they're not. I mean, like, if I shaved her face off right now until there was just, like, exposed brain and she was somehow still alive, well, then that would still be her. And if I was looking at her brains, I'd be looking at the real her. She would still be my girlfriend, even without the eyes. Well, not for long, because, you she doesn't have a face. And so then I realized that faces are kind of arbitrary and external from us. And then when I started to see my girlfriend's eyes as external from her, they became really creepy. They were like these little sensor things that were following me around, and they were scanning me. And it just made myself really uncomfortable. And then it got worse, because I just thought, wow, faces are everywhere. Like, any time I think of anybody, I think of their face, and I think of that face as who they are, even though it's just a creepy mask that covers their brain. And I went outside after that, and I, I realized that we're just surrounded by faces all the time. Like, there's so many advertisements everywhere, and they most of them have faces on them. And TV is just close-ups of faces that are talking. And we even see faces where there aren't any, like the face on the moon. And that one's kind of creepy, too. And I thought, like, why don't we see people as their hands? Like, I know somebody would say, you know, faces are really expressive. Obviously, that's where you're going to look. But they only evolve to be expressive because that's where we look. We could imagine another species that looks at each other's hands, and they would evolve really expressive hands. Some kind of alien mime. And after thinking that, I actually went over to the mirror, and I started to look at my hands and started to think of myself as being my hands. And I started to think of other people as being their hands. And it was kind of fun. You should try it. But I couldn't keep it up for very long because faces are just too powerful. Back in early Hollywood, they used to not put actors' names in the movies because the producers and the directors knew the minute they started giving actors credit, the actors would be the most powerful people in Hollywood because they're the ones who have their faces in the movie. And people remember faces better than names. So the actors went on strike, they got their names in the movie, and the directors and producers were right. The actors became really powerful. I always kind of wonder why the producers and directors didn't just put their faces in the movie or like on the poster or just made like an intro to the movie where they went, oh, hey, you know, we made this movie. Look, this is our face. Just please remember it. I mean, that's why I put my face in all my videos. So the lesson for today is that faces are really, really powerful and they have a huge influence over the way we see the world, even though they're just creepy masks that we wear over our brains.